Today's Gospel reading is short, just a few sentences from Jesus to his disciples. It comes at the end of the part where he is sending them to the villages and towns to tell the people who live there about God's love. This will be the first time they do anything without Jesus being with them. So I imagine there was a bit of nervousness. What would they do? What would they say? And perhaps most concerning, how would the people react? They already know that there's been a mixed reaction. Some people love what Jesus is saying and doing, but some do not. Jesus has already told them what to do and say, they are to proclaim the good news of God's love and to do some of the things that Jesus has already done. Cure the sick, cast out demons and more. In other words, Jesus is emphasising that they go in the name of God and as representatives of God. And as to how people might react, well, this is how he ends his message to them. Whoever welcomes you, welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes the one who sent me. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The reaction of others to the message is not the disciples' responsibility. If they are welcomed, it is as if the person is welcoming Jesus, and indeed God. As Christians, we are representatives of God. As I've said before, this is one reason why I always wear my clerical collar when on duty. It lets people know straight away that I am a priest and that I represent Christ on earth. Some people react favourably, from a good morning father to a request for prayer on the street there and then. Some people ignore me completely. And on the odd occasion, I get some verbal abuse, which says more about that person than it does about me. It's not a nice thing to have happen, but I accept it as part of the role. And let's face it, Jesus got far worse abuse than a bit of name calling. Anyway, the point is that as representatives of Christ, we are in the same position as those first disciples. All we do and say ought to be a way of communicating God's love to other people. Our call is to be faithful in doing that. How others react is up to them. So may I encourage you to continue in your faithfulness today. Jesus said that even giving a cup of cold water to someone is the act of a disciple. We might think of it as a little act of kindness. Kindness like those five wonderful people who gave up their Saturday morning to give St Andrews a good, safe, clean yesterday. Kindness like making that phone call to someone living on their own. Kindness like the 26 bags of food that you have combined to donate to the food banks since March, not counting the money donated on top of that. These are all acts of kindness that symbolise the love of God. So how will you share that love with someone today? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.